Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is X-Men Children of the Atom, released by Capcom in 1994. Clearly kind of, you know, capitalising on the success of the X-Men reboot comic, or the new series of X-Men, I should say, by Jim Lee in the early 90s, and the success of the TV show. Now, this is where fighting games from Capcom for me got really, really interesting, and not just because of the graphical style. Because before this, the last game in the Street Fighter series was, what was the one with Fei Long, the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and they kind of mixed up the graphics a bit. But this was a complete departure where it was really, really, really cartoony. And this is obviously the graphic style they ended up using for, you know, the Street Fighter Zero or Alpha series. This was followed by Marvel superheroes, which I absolutely loved and adored. And then came what you could argue was the start of the Marvel vs. Capcom series, um, which was Street Fighter vs. X-Men. Right, let's put some money in. Now, uh, this came out on the Saturn. I saw it in magazines and wanted to play it in the arcades. Could have, came out on the Saturn, didn't come out on the PlayStation. Uh, assuming that's because it was basically, you needed the extra frames of animation. But my brother had it, uh, let's go with Scott Summers, and I just, I, I, I loved it. Now you've got manual automatic, going with automatic. I'm playing this on Xbox, original pad, so I don't even know i got all the controls I need. But look at it. It, it just retains the comic perfectly. I mean, eventually we did get the other games on the PlayStation. They just had lower, you know, sort of animation. But I just think it's epic. I really do. Now, it's all about double, and like I said, I haven't played this since the Saturn version, but you can, like, double move stuff, like Dragon Punch, and then do a fire blast straight up. Oh, look at that. And it's all about air dragons as well, isn't it? Look at that. I always struggle as well. There, look at that. Oh, bollocks. You got your rage bar, but that, that eye beam is just epic. Now, this was my era of X-Men. I mean, I loved it. I grew up... Well, my X-Men era I grew up with was the late um, 80s, where Jim Lee and Mark Silvestri were doing the stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, loved it. And then they did the reboots, where they split the team in two. Come on. Oh, fuck it. Uh, and I love that, then everyone else buggered off to Image, didn't they, after that, but just, oh. How do you do the combo? Fuck off, you ice blast. Look, are we in the car? No, we're on an iceberg. This is good. No, there's windsurfers. Should be too warm for you. I remember Spider-Man The Amazing Friends. I love that show. There we go. This pad is killing my hands. I've got carpal tunnel syndrome. Up by four arms everywhere. There we go. Why didn't that kill you? Be a good boy and die. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, never said I was any good at this. Playing with only four buttons. Fuck you, Bobby Drake. You're not a sore loser. Well, I'm in charge of your team, so I'm gonna bench you for the rest of the season and you can get fucking no money. No, I don't wanna, don't wanna, don't wanna. Where's he? Is this scanners? You just got to kick in. You haven't got fucking migraine. Oh, this game's epic. Thank you, game. Because if it wasn't for you, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have had Street Fighter Alpha. Come on. I should probably read that shit. It's telling me. Oh, money. Right, who are we gonna be? Let's be Sarok. He's odd. I mean, a mega red. He was what? I don't know, he was introduced in the Jim Lee 91 series, wasn't he? I guess that's why he put him in there, actually. There's Psylocke. Oh, sweet, who are we fighting? Spiral. Is she, yeah, Mojo World. She's from the Mojo um, verse. That's Mojo in the background, where it was all about TV ratings, wasn't it? And a psychic dagger. She was epic. In the X-Men Apocalypse movie, I can't remember who played her, but that was, she came to life. That was exactly how I imagined Psylocke being on the screen. Ooh, falling backgrounds. I don't know any... Oh, there we go. Ow, oh, it's not doing much. Yeah, 
That works. That little arrow is quite useful as well. To know where they are when you go off the screen. Because like I said, air juggles in this are epic beans. Someone definitely is flossing there. That's epic. I don't even know which one I am. Oh, yeah, bitch. That works. What part of Mojo is that? It's a mollusk. Right, who are we get next? Look at it. It just reeks of 90s comics. Okay. Oh, Savage Land. Ah, I feel like it's fucking 1989 to 1992 all over again. Piss off. Have I got a double tap? You're making these moves up, Wolverine. Drill clown. Clown. Something. Ow. I forget what that indicates. Hello, Equa Dinosaur. And before people say you should be doing this, you should be doing that. I haven't played this since I was a kid. I fuck knows what the comments are. We have to think that Hugh Jackman has been playing Wolverine for fucking 16 years. Ah, bollocks. She's useless against him. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits there. I'm working my way through as many of these Capcom fighters as I can. So if you've got a favourite, let me know. But yeah, X-Men Children of the Atom. Amazeballs. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later.